our other team here. This is going to be uh, Smoothie versus Oceanos, assuming I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, yeah, roughly pronounced like that. This is kind of a pickup of uh, three members from a team called the Flying Dutchman, which is a uh -huh. UK-based Division Three team. Mm -hmm. So, you know, definitely love to see our friends from across the pond making the effort to come out here. But they also have uh, OBT, or Obese Tyrese, subbing in, who is a player for Secret Elixir, a team that recently got second place in low ink, I believe, April. Yeah, April. I think so. Uh, I also was previously on a team with him, so, you know, it's kind of hard to be biased. He's one of those people where it's like, just needs to say one word, and he's already the most charismatic guy in the universe. Hey, at least we both have bias. I have the same thing with Dan the Man. I was on his first ever team, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. We both have that bias. Yeah, it's kind of unavoidable, unfortunately. But at yeah. least we have opposite bias, so, you know, it kind of bounces off, you know? Yeah, but definitely excited to see how this set plays out. Uh, even though Smoothie is on their way to probably becoming one of the top teams in North America. I feel like this set in a LAN environment could definitely be a lot more competitive than it otherwise would be, given that it's in there a is. given that it's in a LAN setting, since, you know, you don't have that much latency between, you know, NA and EU. Mm-hmm. Dan, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Say hi. <laughs> there he is. There's Dan the man. <laughs> Gotta love the uh, forced interaction. But mm -hmm. regardless, uh, everybody's just kind of trying to get into the room here. Uh, regarding the maps for yeah. this. Let's see what we got. Clamlet's Mako we're going to be starting off with. Yeah, Mako, again, really one of the best maps that the game has to offer right now, given that, uh, you know, it comes from Splatoon 2. But I don't know. With pretty much the one main exception of Rainmaker, pretty much all of its map modes are kind of competitively viable to some degree. Zones, power, and clams, you'll really see it in tournaments like all the time. And Clam Blitz is a personal favorite of mine just because it, it really kind of leads to a lot of volatile, high-risk, high-reward plays. Matches on this map mode are very rarely boring, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. It's definitely those like, you know, raised up stacks that you in the mid area you definitely need to try to take control of in clam let's make omar because it's really easy to get baskets off of that it's really easy to take control of that but it's also very very important that teams take control of those areas that's definitely what these teams are going to try to be gunning for but i'm also hoping that movie doesn't make it insanely far why is that because i personally i will have to hear for the next several months I got so, so, so at LTC. Like, we get it, Dan. You got second at Riptide. I get it. I don't need to hear it every day. Huh? I understand. I know. I was there. <laughs> like, I, I will never live that down. But I should have gotten the medal because I have to wake him up for every set of every land. Like, bro will not want to get up. It is like trying to get a rock to go somewhere. A at least I have balloon in my room this time with, like, a <laughs> he has a water gun. <laughs> it was so easy to get him up this time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you see what I have to deal with. You see what I have to deal with. A hundred pounds over there. Uh, what are you going to do? I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do anymore. But, yeah, um, definitely interested in seeing kind of high out play Stamper because as I did not actually know that that's his main in this game. It wasn't until very recently that he's been playing Stamper. He right. picked it up, I think, maybe a month ago? I think he was mainly playing Splash before that alongside Boopy. But now he's been mainly playing this Platona Stamper. I haven't seen much of it in tournaments, but he does seem pretty solid with it. So we'll see. We'll see how he does in this round today. So who knows? Maybe you, you won't. It, it's hard to predict. Who knows? Maybe maybe they won't. Maybe they'll go quad sploosh or something. I don't know. I mean, if you're as strong as they are, you could probably get away with it. But personally, like the weapon that I still associate him with the most is the custom blaster from Splatoon 2. That's kind of Oh which, yeah. Which kind of gives an idea as to how long he's been around because he mained that back when he was like on a Div 6 team called Eurobeats. And yeah, he kind of stuck around with that for a while but kind of graduated over towards like the Neo Splash of Splatoon 2 when it had the suction bomb launcher. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. But I'm also kind of interested in seeing 
that they do have uh, Lost or Lyra on their roster, who is a carbon player primarily, and that is one of my personal favorite weapons to watch, so I'm kind of hoping that they'll make an appearance at some point here. I do yeah. see that they're going to tower control Sturgeon at some point, and I feel like that is a good map for it, so hoping to see it there, but uh, I won't cry I immensely mean, if I don't see it. Yeah, I, I mean, Lost isn't on the stage, so, I mean, if they just sum them out randomly, then maybe, but Lost ain't there. Yeah. Who I mean, DC'd? Who did it? Fortunate. But yeah, uh, in the previous wave, we saw that uh, we saw that one team had five members, and one of them was just kind of sitting off to the side. Yeah. So presumably, like, she will be able to come in as needed. Yeah, maybe it was like a sub, because she I mean, she still plays a lot with Smoothie, but she's not really on the main roster anymore, being replaced. Like, she left, being replaced now by Banana, which, who isn't here currently, but Banana has, is their fifth member now. Huh. And they, ma they mainly play the Tenotech Splattershot. That's their, like, main squeeze, though. They like to play uh, NZAP here and there, too. I actually did not know that he joined the team. That's pretty interesting, but, you know, insert joke about adding bananas to your smoothie here. But anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, I haven't really talked much about... Balloon, get off your phone. I haven't really <laughs> talked that much about Oceanos, but it's kind of interesting because uh, WUG, at least in Splatoon 2, they played Roller primarily, so that'll be interesting to see them come through here with that. And uh, in Splatoon 2, OBT mainly played Flingza and the Dynamo Roller. But as far as this game goes, I believe he's largely a machine player now. Although he does still occasionally go to Flingza. Whereas uh, the Moo is kind of your typical frontline slayer. Okay. And Mr. Leo, who is their fourth, uh, is like... Similar to Dan, he's like a K-Pro uh, enthusiast. Uh, do, they, not, do they let him cook? Uh, presumably so. I mean, he's pretty good. But I'm saying... It'll be interesting to see kind of the David versus Goliath here in terms of the Splattershot Pro battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see if they go with that here as they are now setting up their teams. We have talked about Clamblitz Mako, and we have talked about what these guys have done in the past. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it comes out on top here. We'll see who takes it. Looking at the predictions, it is mainly in favor of Smoothie with a 70% prediction. Though, some people think Oceanos can take this. We'll see. We'll see. Again, in a game like this, anything, anything can happen. You don't know. That 30% could be eaten pretty good after this. It's, they could. It's a pretty, you know, huge ask, but it, it's nothing's impossible. But yes, uh, both teams running up. I believe we had a DC before, so... They're probably not going to make any drastic last-second changes. But, uh, yeah, we are probably going to be heading into this match very shortly. <laughs> Again, pretty much across the board, just kind of expecting, like, a whole lot of aggression, which is, you know, interesting. Like, it's not anything out of the norm for Splat 3, but, you know, still, you just love to see it. Yeah, you really just love to see that type of stuff here. We'll see how they go here as we're now getting into the game. It is battle time, and we're going to be seeing what comps these teams are going to be wanna, wanting to run out here as we are starting on Clam Blitz on Mako Mart, seeing Smoothie with the comp that I literally predicted because they're, they're basically one tricks at the point. And look, they let him cook. They let him cook with the Forge Pro, but we're also seeing the V Junior coming out too with, with Ninja Squid. Uh, okay. Yeah, Ninja, not something you see a ton on Junior, but, you know, it could be pretty cool, I guess. But Haya coming in, getting one quarter of the opening quad, trying to go for Wug here, but they will be forced to back off. He's going for it. He is thirsty for this kill. Is he able to get it? Yes, but unfortunately a trade. Yeah, no. And that's actually free down on Smoothie. Bro got a little too distracted, and it's now it's just Dan online here. As the member of Oceanos can be pretty much able to try to make a push into this mid area here as we see Wug trying to come in too, but the triple aim strike is going to stall him out for a little bit longer. Haya going to be 
on that left side, trying to stay alive. Spy Bomb gonna do a little bit of damage, but they're trying to shred that Booyah Bomb here as Balloon is gonna be getting another pick. It is just Wug left alive, already being partial damage by this machine, trying to push him a little bit further, but not gonna be able to get the Confirm here as high as gonna be able to get the Super Clamp in, but not before going down themselves here. We see Wug trying to stay alive here. They have the Big Bubbler, but in this type of situation, Big Bubbler is not gonna do much of anything here. But the stack is still being controlled by Smoothie, as they are all still pretty much up there. Balloon trying to come in, coming in like a freight train, and here comes the wipeout. Smoothie is still set up here, but they just got to get some clams online. Haya trying to give Balloon some, trying to get some more. Haya trying to give him one more. I'm pretty sure Dan had some. Dan can just give him one more, and they'll be able to get something online if Dan wants to donate. If Dan can donate. Donate, Dan. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh... Dan trying to push up here. OBT trying to defend a little bit. Able to get a nice trade on Dan. Uh, but the Moo going down. Balloon putting out a lot of pressure here. Able to get one more kill before going down to the Splat Bomb. Mr. Leo here behind. Boopy trying to pop the crab to keep them distracted just a little bit. Smoothie does finally get a second push going off. And they do have a few clams to deal with it. But Boopy not able to really be a part of it. As they do go two down, they don't have any clams, but they are in a pretty solid offensive position here. Balloon is still, but it's just him. He'll be forced to back off. OBT going for the kill, able to get it, but it results in a trade. I don't know. Oceanos could take mid off of this, but it's looking kind of slow for them right now. Yeah, we already see Dan having that triple ink strike online. Trying to use it here to help their teammates as Moo has to back up a little bit. They're not in the best spot here. Booyah Bomb going to be coming online, though, for them as Booby is on this right side. Has the Crab Tank, but that's not really where the opponents are here. They're mainly on that left, so that means it's not going to be the best Crab Tank here as they're going to get another one, and it's currently Oceanos that has the lead. But where is this Junior? Just Junior has so many clams online. They're going to be running away from Booby, going for their life, getting it all the way down to 39. They got the jump! jump. No way! Oh, my oh. God! That was insane as they got that jump there, getting it down to 19. Now Oceanos has to make sure that they defend it a little bit more. Right, and OBT is not giving up that position, but that was a massive push from Oceanos right there. Haya, although, although uh, yeah, Haya is pushed all the way up. They do have the potential to push here, and they will bring down Mr. Leo. And they do have the power claim at the ready already with the Booyah and the Fizzy, but the Moo coming in from behind, not able to really stop it. They will go down. They do have the triple ink strikes ready as well. They do have quite a few clams. Boopy with the crab trying to offload everything they have first. Just 90 seconds left in this game, but Smoothie going two down. OBT able to stop it, and it's just Balloon left on the machine. Yep, just Balloon left there trying to stay alive, but it's not looking good for him as he's got to back up. But Haya coming in for the rescue, getting that combo with the Burst Bomb here, trying to see if they can get OBT. OBT's a little backed up, trying to stay alive. They're going to go down. Booyah Bomb going to be coming out from Balloon, coming in on that left side, trying to get that stack. Once again, Boopy has the Crab Tank online too, and that is a wipeout. Come on, Clams. Clams have to go online. Here we go. Dan the Man going to be able to get it in, and now they're just throwing in as many Clams as possible. Boopy has three more, and that's going to get them lead as Haya is going to be coming in here with the Zipcaster, trying to see if they can get any picks. There goes Mr. Lee. Just need one more, and that is the first game. Smoothie was left in a, a little bit of a bad spot at the beginning, going down all the way to 19. You know, you know, maybe the Ninja Squid Jr. was a little bit of the play. They did not see him going down there, and when they did, Boopy just could not catch up, and they got that jump too. Exactly. I think that, honestly, like, Oceanos, I really thought they were going to scrape the win there, like, potentially. But I don't know if they expected that push to work as well as it did. And so they got kind of frazzled and just kind of weren't really able to defend as well as they, like, offended, so to speak. Mm -hmm. They might not have been able to defend as good as their offense, as now we're going to be going on to the second round, which is Splat Zone's Fonder Heights. And if you know anything about Splatoon 3, the meta is like this. Normal meta, Flounder Heights. <laughs> it's its own different meta. Precisely. You got... Th like, this map really loves, or Buckets really love this map, rather. Mm -hmm. So, in that sense, I guess Balloon and OBT are kind of set in with their weapons here. Uh, not yeah. really sure how well uh, Smoothie will kind of adapt to this, but I don't know. It's, real, it's a real king of the hill type of map. So, like, oh, yeah. 
if uh, Oceanos is lucky enough to kind of get the real first blood here, they could probably take this one. Yeah, they might be able to take this one, but we're going to have to wait and see, of course. We're going to see. I don't know if anybody will. I don't think anybody on this movie plays Tri Slosher, but we do know Tri Slosher really loves this map. It's, of course, as we said, buckets are really good on this map, but especially Tri Slosher. It's not even funny. Exactly. And not to mention Tri, like, I, I do main the weapon, but Me I too. can still. Yeah, cooler mains stick together. Uh huh. But basically, it's like. Fry is not the hardest weapon in the world by any means, so like no. surely one of them is able to flex it. Oh yeah, at least one of them might be able to maybe higher. Like, I don't know. I'm 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 thinking. I'm thinking because like again, Octobrush and Tri Slosher do play pretty similarly, but he's not playing Octobrush, of course. But he's playing. St I I'm trying to make lines in a bunch of different places, but they're gonna be sticking with the same comp. But on the other side here, we're gonna be seeing a T Tech come out. Th there's somebody. There's somebody triple ink strike. There's triple triple ink strike. The, uh, what would that be? The, like, non-tuple ink strike? I don't know, but either way, it's zones flounder. So that's gonna be, like, that's gonna be insane take on the zone. It's not even funny. OBT getting a nice double to start out. Is he able to bring down Dan? Yeah, that's a triple. Can he get the opening quad? No. Yes! Actually, yes! Oh. OBT with the opening quad. That's ridiculous. This is exactly what they needed, though. And... Uh, but Haya able to bring it down. The triple ink strike does keep them back a little bit. Balloon going down. Haya going for a kill on the Moo, but I think she notices it and is trying to get away, but they will sandwich it out. That is two down on the side of Oceanus, though. Dan going for zone, but the strike holding him off just a little bit. But still, Smoothie in a really good spot here. They could very well take this zone here. OBT, though, coming back in. I don't know. Smoothie does have the Zipcaster ready, and we've already kind of established how well that oh, works. No, they don't. Yeah, uh, Wug <laughs> with a very clean kill on Haya there. Boopy, though, on this left flank, I don't know. That could, like, not really able to go forward from there, but still, that's ridiculous. OBT going down, though. I don't know, Balloon. I don't know, it's two down for Oceanos, though. But, I don't know, they could still come through with something here. They do have two strikes at the ready, or six, depending on how you look at it. So many online, but Boopy is coming out here with the Crab Tank. Well, those triple egg strikes are going to be trying to use to displace that Crab Tank a little bit. The Moo going straight for them, but going to be comboed there as they're going to go down. But Haya is going to go down themselves here as the lead is still very in, in favor of Smoothie here. But they're going to be going two down, but they're going to be getting tri strikes back online. But Balloon is going to go down too, but Haya is coming back in with the jump and sees multiple of them going for OBT. Going to be able to avenge GG's Dan here <laughs> as they're going to be able to get the pick and Wug is trying to come in, but we see Boopy on that bottom area here trying to stay alive, trying to see how they can be able to push in as Wug is just trying to, you know, paint some walls. You definitely want to paint walls on this map as it gives you a little bit of advantage when trying to come back or trying to make flanks, you know, all that type of stuff. You definitely want to paint the walls, even though it's it doesn't really help you with specials or anything like that. But with Triple Ink Strike and Booyah Bomb online, that's going to be a really good retake, except it didn't. Oh, but that's oh, two oh. down for Oceanos. They're so close to being through with their penalty, but Balloon able to stop Leo from sharking on the wall there. Uh, they do kind of go to a delayed white, I believe. But yeah, Smoothie having some really good control in mid right here. OBT trying to find some sort of opening. They might be able to get something on Boopy here, but I think they know. But that is Balloon going down, and Oceanos have all their specials at the ready. And they got to get moving now because uh, Smoothie doesn't have that much uh, penalty left. But that's two down for Oceanos. But I don't think they know the moves behind them, so they're able to take control away, Ooh. and she's able to get a very nice pick on the machine. But Dan able to respond effectively. Yep, Dan was able to respond effectively, and it's only two Neo Splashes left on line here, as he's just trying to make sure that he has control here, trying to make sure, that, you know, nobody's going to be able to try to do anything, but here comes Mr. Lee. Triple Ink Strike coming in, but I heard the Zipcaster coming in, trying to go in for the flank here. Are they going to be able to get the pick as we are watching Boopy trying to go in for Mr. Moo? But, no, nah, that's not going to happen. The movie's going to be able to stay alive, and it's two down on either side here. The Moo coming in for Balloon, but Balloon does a nice 180 on the Moo there. Going to be able to stay alive a little bit longer, trying to get the Wug. Wug's going to go down as they're going to be painting that wall. They're almost done with their penalty, which is really good for them. But, again, if Oceanos has a really nice triple ink strike coming out, that might be a retake. Yeah, and that's, like, just 15 ticks here. The ink strikes coming out. They are able to bring down one of the splashes on Smoothie. 
Zones are looking pretty split right now. The Booyah does force them away. Oh. They got control for just a little bit. They're still in it, folks. Yeah, they're still in it. Even if they just got that for a split second, giving Smoothie a penalty is going to help them so much. Oh, but that's a wipe on the side of uh -oh. OCNS. Yeah, uh, that's the opposite, actually, of what they want. That's the complete opposite. As Haya is already on this ramp, pushing up here, just trying to keep the space. They have their Zipcaster online, and now they're going to do a Pro Chara and try to see what they can do here. Try to go for Wug, coming all different places, just going all the way around. The Wug going to pop Tri Strike here, but going to get picked off. But no, not going to be able to get the landing here as the penalty is gone. There's a wipeout. Boopy says Booyah here, and that's pretty much going to be GG's. Smoothie going to be taking this second place and leaving Oceanos in a little bit of a tough spot as if they want to take this and go straight straight to top 16, they got to do a reverse sweep. Either way, even if they lose, they have a really good spot in the redemption bracket. They're not making silver. Silver, it's not happening for them. I mean, yeah. I guess that's preferable because that's like the lowest. Very... <laughs> <coughs> Tower Sturgeon time, baby. Tower Sturgeon. Yeah, very much so. Uh, it's a monumental task if Oceanos want to pull the win here. But still, that was... This set has definitely been way more competitive than I admittedly kind of assumed it would be. But, yeah, they're all just playing kind of out of their minds right now. But oh, yeah. Tower Sturgeon, I don't know. I feel like if Oceanus could pull a win anywhere, it's here because this map has a tendency to be so snowball-y. It does. It can be snowball-y, especially because it's Sturgeon. I will definitely say, like, most of the Splatoon maps are really solid. Of course, the, the main one people say is that is, you know, Wahoo World. We don't even need to talk about that. But honestly, I don't know what they did to Sturgeon this game. Maybe because of the different options or different spinner intervals, but I don't like it as much as I did in Splatoon 2. I love this thing in Splatoon 2. In Splatoon 3, it is... Eh. I don't like it, but I don't hate it. I think the fact that they got rid of Burst Pump on Tri Slosher kind of hurts it, but, you know, as is life. It makes every... A lack of Burst Bomb Tri really hurts everything in life. Yeah, I, I would like it to come back, but I, I'm still chilling with Fizzy Bomb. I'm fine with it. Yeah, fair enough. But, yeah, I mean, it's a fair assumption. Perhaps it's just kind of the addition of, I don't know, perhaps Sturgeon just lent itself more to the previous meta than what we have now, even if it is kind of a step up. I don't know, it's in kind of a strange spot yeah, on the whole. Maybe not the previous meta, but just what was in the previous game. Yeah, the that, type of specials. It just lent itself more towards that. Going from one of the best special, not specials, but maps, in my opinion, in the game, to one of the more meh. It's like C tier, bro. It's like C. Understandable, but it's what we've got to play here. So we see Smoothie coming through with the same comp yet again, with Mr. Leo going back to the Forge and the Ninja Junior. The Ninja Junior might cook here. And of course, early in Switching Freeze Life's man, we were like big bubbler on tower goes so insane except now everything shreds big bubbler so it's just throw something at the tower and it's going to be depleted but maybe in some situations it can give you a little bit of something here we're already smoothie getting two down three down. quad quad wipe out there they go yeah uh balloon already coming up to the snipe that's one of the strongest positions you can take with haya and boopy already taking the more aggressive scenarios here and the zip caster coming out too trying to survive this onslaught of fall off but that's already through the first checkpoint and <laughs> making their way towards the second and smoothie like oceanos doesn't have any specials to combat this at all yeah they, no so like i'm not i don't know the moo trying to go for a side angle pick here they do get uh dan off but it's just obt oh. left alive and that's another wipe with just a minute into the game Wow, uh, that was definitely a match to end yeah. Wave B. Yeah, that was uh, the ending of all time, kind of, unfortunately. But I am. Yeah. Still, though, on the whole, this set has definitely been rather back and forth. Oh, yeah, for sure. At least in the first two games, it was really back and forth. Yeah, I really, again, I really felt like Oceanos had that first game there for a little bit. But oh, yeah. I don't know. The, the game catches you by surprise sometimes. Yeah, it does. But either way, that's going to be the end of that. Smoothie is going to be going straight to top 16. So, and Oceanos is going to be going towards Redemption Bracket. Don't know, don't know which pool. 
of Redemption, but one of them. Definitely yeah. one of them. Yeah, that's def you're definitely worst places to be. Yeah, definitely are. But I think with that, that might be it for us. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be it for us. So before we go, where can people find you, Riley? Well, you can find me on Twitter at Buff Splashdown. It's not in the game, but still, you should do it. And uh, I don't know. Slider. Oh, yeah. I, I, I considered changing it to that, but it's too iconic at this point. But yeah, um, you can find me on Twitter there. I commentate some tournaments. I uh, haven't really been playing the game much lately, but you can still kind of find my thoughts and opinions there. I do have a Twitch. It's Riley vs. The Blade, but I haven't streamed in five years. So, you know, it, it is what it is. And where can people find you? Of course, you can find me right here, people, at Ninstar123. This is my Twitter app, but it's also, you know, my Twitch stuff. You know, you, you can find it there. You can find me there. I mostly talk about my opinions, what's going on with me. And I don't know if I will stream my tournament ones. Maybe maybe not, uh, knowing how my team is. But I'm a part of the brand new team, 1-2 Buckle My Shoe. We got to change the name. We got we to gotta change the name. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. If any of you are watching, we got to change the name. I'm sorry. We're never going to be taken seriously, as seriously as we want. One, two, buckle my shoe, bro. One, two, buckle my shoe. It's going to get old. I'm sorry. Love you guys. But let's be real with ourselves. At least we got multiple great white placings. And we, we just won the recent great white. Oh, SOS. my goodness. We you, did. You won Swimmer Sink. You're a celebrity. But for real, put suggestions in the chat for new names, clearly. Give me my sendo.ink batch. I, I, I'm not going to say the other one because I know Grace doesn't like it. So I'm, I'm not going to say the other. I'm not going to say it. Right. But with that, they're going to be going on a short break before we go to Wave C and some other really nice commentators. Right. Thank you for watching. Don't go away.